Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Good welcome all the new folks. Don't get too close here. I don't have makeup on. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Yeah, I got some kind of a weird red bump on my face, so I put some little powder on it before I get my makeup on. Uh, anyway, folks, I hope everybody had a fun three-day weekend. I hope some of you got to enjoy the lovely weather that uh, some of the places are having. I hope you guys enjoyed time with your family. Um, we had a great day. My kids, uh, Chalice, uh, my son-in-law Dave, and my grandson Mason and I, we all went to barbecues for a late lunch yesterday. Now, I only had a taste, and I'm talking two bites, of some brisket. I did have some whiskey. Uh, but otherwise I had bacon. I had purse bacon and bacon yesterday, so. And Harry had everything. Yeah, Harry kind of overdid a little bit yesterday, including what, Harry? What did you have yesterday, Harry? I'm going to go over that in a moment. Okay, Harry's going to go over that in a moment. But I got my bacon, and I got to get it in, you guys, because today is, oops, it's not Monday, Harry. No, you got that. It's the wrong day. Oops. And that should be 19. It is Tuesday. Bacon fast day, 19. Wendy remained the same, 179, and I attribute that to I didn't drink a lot of water, and I did have one whiskey and soda. Harry had 183.6, and you guys, spirits, alcohol, straight alcohol is perfectly keto. So whiskey, vodka, rum, um, gin, but they can cause a stall or weight gain. And we celebrated Memorial Day, and I did stay on my bacon fast, but I did have a whiskey and soda. That I did have. Whiskey's medicinal for a toothache, only I don't have a tooth anymore. I'm doing great, you guys. I finished all my antibiotics yesterday, so I'm off antibiotics, and I feel great. I just have to baby that side of my mouth for a while. So anyway, I want to, for the new folks that don't know, I had oral surgery and that abscess tooth removed on Monday, last Monday. So it's been a week, right Harry? Mm -hmm. It's been exactly a week. And I am going to continue my bacon fast with this delicious bacon. Harry, what kind was this? I have to know. Your fave. <gasps> this is my favorite farmland, applewood smoke. So bacon. you've got two of those left and you have a right bacon oh, left. Oh, tomorrow I'll have right. We'll, we'll switch it up. I'll have right bacon tomorrow. Put this in the oven and bake it at 400 degrees for 42 minutes. Alexa, set bacon timer for 42 minutes, please. Bacon timer, 42 minutes, starting now. And you guys, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. Got to get logged into work because I'm back to work today at my home office. And I will see you guys when it's bacon. And Harry, what did you do yesterday? Tell me about your dinner at Bobby Q's and everything else. Well, first off, I'd have to say I'm really, really uh, proud of Wendy because she didn't do anything. She stuck purse bacon in, you know, which is kind of weird. And But she did order some meat and didn't eat it. Gave it. I ate it. Oh, <laughs> Gave it to you. I ate every yeah. freaking bite of all the food I could get. Now... Yeah. Nail for two. I went up a pound. Exactly, right? Mm-hmm. And I attribute this, this to a few things. I had a drink, a single drink, but I had basically a we, lot of meat. And we went for a walk uh, well, afterwards in the shopping mall. Yeah, and I was we going to say, yeah, we walked from the place we ate to next door. Which is? Safeway. <laughs> And, well, I, we all bought ourselves. Not me. Except for Wendy. <laughs> no! These. Now, everybody had their own. And I ate the entire thing. Okay, the entire thing. And this is like, what, there's four? Servings. Four servings in one of these. Yeah. But, 
Then something happened. Uh, the devil made me do this. And Charlie took two bites of it and hated it and immediately put it into my freezer. So what happened when they left? I ate it too. No! 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 Yeah. So, I ate two pints of ice cream, which is basically eight servings in one evening. But that's why I pretty much went up a pound. And I was surprised. I thought I would, after that, I sat in my chair all bummed out knowing what I had done. But you only had an OMAD. I mean, you had that, all that meat, but that's all you had to yeah, yesterday. Yeah, just that one meal. So if you'd had but that. I had two of these. Oh! Okay? So I'm really surprised I only went a pound. Now tomorrow, like Wendy said, I'm probably going to go up even higher. Well, we'll see. We will see. So I'm only going to have an OMAD today. I'm only going to eat one meal, and that's going to be dinner. And you're going to stay really good with everything else. Yeah, and I'm going to drink a lot of water. Yeah. But I'm going to have to drink coffee today, so at least keep... It helps. It does help when you're hungry. You know? And, uh, and exactly. water. And water. Water. Okay. Water. And that's it. That's all I got to report. <sighs> that's okay. Good news is, make your next meal keto. A ton of, ton of rendering, because it was really fatty. Oh, 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 buddy, look at that. Look at that deliciousness. Oh, man. Look at that, Mart. <sighs> Harry, Marty, same dude, same person. Mmm. So this is what, day 19, right? Yeah. yeah. So you've been eating bacon now for 19 days I straight. I have. I have. And I ate it even with a abscessed tooth oral surgery. Everything, you guys. So I'm thinking now my inflammation this week should go away um, because I'm feeling pretty good. I'm off of antibiotics. So hopefully my body normalizes and it releases more weight. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. I feel fantastic on this. I, I really do. Well, I'll tell you, you know? when I do OMAD, I feel great. Do you? Yeah. I don't know why. It's just weird. I, you need to look that up for me and tell me why I feel better when I only eat Well, nothing's day. greater than when you go out to your favorite restaurant and you got some secret purse bacon in there, right? <laughs> you got the secret purse bacon and um you're sneaking it nobody knows you're sneaking it not even the kids that are eating there with you right which are adult kids by the way and um i just wanted the purse bacon and i brisket's my favorite i had one little two bites of brisket two bites yeah that's all i had and it just well yeah i would use i would say extremely small it's like you were test tasting yeah it, it was like i was taste testing because i got the rest of it oh i just God, wanted a little good. bit of a taste and then i just kept sneaking my purse bacon because it was cold i could like pinch it i could pinch a piece off and have a little piece and the waitress and the waiter and nobody saw it right so it was yeah, you could have just laid it on your plate and nobody probably would have said no nothing. they wouldn't have said anything but yeah Thank it worked you. we're gonna go to tombstone and Bisbee for our, for my birthday, our anniversary, Harry's birthday in June, because we didn't get to celebrate and go anywhere and do anything. We celebrated, but we didn't go anywhere and do anything. And um, that is going to be interesting because I may or may not add like pork chops and eggs, which you can have. I've been pretty strict on my, on my um, bacon fast. i got to count, so I'm. You've got to look what you did. Oh no, look what I did. Uh -uh. Oh, that puppy's ruined. Ruined it. It's ruined. Ruined, I say. Don't drip it on the floor. I know. I folded it over like a good kid. Anyway, so we'll see. I'll let everybody know when we get to Tombstone because that'll be towards the end of my fast. I think it's Tuesday the 5th, 6th, and 7th we're going. So that would be right at the 30 day mark. So actually being able to transition and add the eggs, which you can have, and pork chops, which you can have, um, might be a good way to go, Harry. Yeah. 
There's a, of course, barbecue place in town where we go and a really nice steakhouse that we go to that serves really good breakfast. So maybe that's what I'll do. I gotta think about it though. I hate this gotta auto. Gotta see how I do. Sorry, you got the auto on there. You got the here. auto and your lighting's going everywhere. It's going in and out because I got the window behind me even though that peacock stained glass is on top of it. Um, Harry, just we're having an excess heat warning. And I think that starts tomorrow. Alexa, what's the weather report for today? In Phoenix, there's an excessive heat warning in effect Wednesday, May 27th, 10 a.m. to Saturday, May 30th, 8 p.m. The current weather is 82 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. You can expect more of the same today, with a high of 102 degrees and a low of 74 degrees. Only going to be 102 today. But this week it's supposed to get up to 111, you guys. That's three ones, one, one, one. So excess heat warning starting Wednesday. We're coming into the monsoon season in June and we will share those with you guys. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a monsoon, but they're kind of cool. Anyway, folks, I have got to get to back to work. So I'm gonna have some bacon. Yes, I am. I'm gonna have to give this a little taste test. But first, look at this, look at the Bacon gold on this pan. Bacon gold, Harry. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Look at that. Mm -hmm. For you guys that are new, bacon gold is all this crispiness, deliciousness. It's super salty, super delicious, and oh my gosh. Oh well, go ahead, just eat it. Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> oh, that is so good. Excuse me. <laughs> they are. They were really fat. One in there was extremely fat. I'd say I mean, they are like, fat like a puppies. quarter inch. And then there was one that was pretty thin, mm, you know. Here, I'll come over here. She is. She's like, okay, where's my piece? It's hot, honey. There she is. Sit. Can you give me a pop up? Yeah. Okay, there it goes. She has more trouble lifting this one because of her back than she does that one for some reason. Yeah. I, I don't know if she's... It's her, it's her left side. She has fused discs in her back, you guys. Anyway, here's my bacon. Oh, look at that. Oh, now that's a piece of bacon. We fold our bacon in half so you get the whole 1.5 pounds onto one cookie tray. Got a taste test. And it tastes just the same. God, fact, this smells so good, though. I kind of like it better mm. folded, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I do, too. Depends on your preference. You just have to cook it longer. Mm. Mm. This is where mm. she pisses me off the most, because mm. I'm only going to eat one meal today, and she mm. knows it, so she's really going to turn you it on. You made ice cream in front of me yesterday, and my favorite kind, so let's not discuss eating in front of one another. This is for posterity and bacon fast diet. <sighs> Mmm, <laughs> my favorite is this part right here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know what that means, folks? Gotta eat now. Time to get my bacon put into the sack and into the refrigerator. You guys, I'm not hungry today. Thought I was, but I only had three pieces of bacon for um, breakfast. I don't know if it's because I'm not on antibiotics anymore. When I was on the antibiotics, you know. Oh yeah, those will make you hungry. They made well, not only that, but they were I, they made me kind of queasy, so I wanted to make sure I was eating with them. Anyway, I'm taking this deliciousness. Look at that, oh, deliciousness, and putting it in my refrigerator because I like cold bacon. It is good. There's something here, about magic happens here. here cold yeah, bacon. I can't oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to tease him. <sighs> I didn't. Here, I'll, I'll tell you how it tastes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just upset because I had ice cream yesterday. Not really. It was really mm -hmm. weird. I did very good and I was just pretty set. Now, Mary Takedo, Mary asked me, she goes, I'm so, she didn't ask me, she made a comment. She says, I'm so surprised that you can still eat bacon that you haven't gotten tired of it. You know what, you guys? I'm not tired of bacon. Well, you know, I, I kind of feel the same way. It's amazing because I, I watch you. You don't eat anything No, but and I don't say, so do I sit there and go, wow, I wish I could have 
you know, a fat bomb. Mm. Or, wow, I wish I could have a piece of chocolate. Mm. I don't do any of that. Mm. And the odd thing is, I love eggs and I love beef, but I could not have done an egg fast this or long? a beef fast diet this long. Oh my gosh, no. no. Cause the eggs, when I do the eggs and all the fat that you have to eat with it, it kind of makes me crazy. You know, this, I eat it and I'm satiated and I don't, I, for the first time, I think in my life, I don't think about, I don't think about food. I don't have to think about food. Especially like if I have my purse bacon, mm -hmm. if I start like feeling hungry at all, I just whip out the purse bacon, have a piece of bacon. Yeah. And I just sit there and chew it and it takes me about an hour to chew, especially with my um, yeah. <laughs> hole in my jaw from having my abscess tooth removed and stuff. But well, you know what, also I don't, it's funny, I don't care. Well, you eat you eat beef. Beef is Maybe your it, it. is so, your is your jam. Yeah, your that's pretty jam. much. Because I don't care if she's eating the stuff. I mean, it doesn't bother me much. Well, it's like the ice cream didn't bother me, so you're kind of flipping it. I am. Off. Anyway, yeah, we're at a weird. Rice. I know we're at a weird angle, but I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm putting this in the refrigerator, but I only had three pieces of bacon, and I'm. That's another thing. This is the maximum I can have. I don't have to eat it all. So, I'll let you know. We yeah, have something it's, else to eat. Because it's women between one and one and one a half One and a half pounds. pounds, but you want to make sure you have enough protein in that. But right. the thing is, is you know, it's like intermittent fasting. You can have less one day and more the next day and that kind of thing. So anyway, folks, I'm going to, I got to get to work. Um, I'm putting this in the fr refrigerator. Harry and Sally are taking a little nap and I thought I'd share with you guys. I've got to take some vitamins. <clears throat> so I've got three pieces of cold bacon. And it's 11 o'clock. But I only had three pieces of bacon this morning. I wasn't very hungry this morning. And if I take a bunch of pills on an empty stomach, it makes me kind of queasy. So I'm just going to have my Arrowhead Sparkling. This one's the Pomegranate Lemon, and I really like this flavor. I'm picky about my sparkling waters because they all have a... Some of them have a funky metallic or soapy taste on the back end. So I really like this a lot. So... What'd you guys do for Memorial Day? Let me know. You guys still on lockdown? Did you guys do a barbecue? Did you guys um, get out and about? Did you guys take rides? When we were growing up, we used to take rides all the time. And um, so getting out of the house and getting in the car and just driving and looking at pretty scenery, go check out the regional parks in the area, that kind of thing. We even like going and looking at the houses. So... Um, or we'll go to a new town and drive around and look and see if it's something where we want to come back and explore the town. So um, we do that quite a bit. Mom doesn't get out and walk. We have to take a wheelchair for her. So it's nice to be able to go check out things and ride in the car and just have a really nice day. So um, we'll do that quite a bit. And of course here in Arizona, we're going to have a... Um, extreme weather alert this week it's going to get up to like 111 112 this week so getting in the car in air conditioning with your nice cool beverage and taking a drive is really nice too we take mom out if you guys have seen some of our past vlogs we go out and look for the wild burrows in the afternoon and and uh, look for wildlife so like a little off-scale victory i bought this teeny little um cross and it used to fit me right here. It was really tight, one of those tight necklaces like a choker. And it's like a regular necklace now. I wanted it to be a tight choker, you know? And I put it on today and it was like, is that, is that the same cross that I got in Tucson uh, at the Gem and Jewelry show two years ago? So two years ago, I weighed like 229, 230. I was an 1820 and an extra large or 1X top. And when I bought this, it was like right here. And now it's down here. So it's kind of a off scale victory. My neck has shrunk. Wish this would go away. A little turkey twaddle, dwaddle, chicken 
thing going on here. It doesn't look as bad when I'm facing, but when Harry shoots me in the kitchen and I'm sideways, you can just like see this skin. It's slow skin, you guys. Like I said, I'm not a spring chicken. I'm probably one of the oldest hens in the hen houses um, on this channel. We started really uh, late in life, but there's no time like the present to start keto. I'm like a living example. Doesn't matter how old or young you are, you guys can start it and it works. So, um, I do have loose skin and I don't know if it'll ever shrink completely, but you know what? That's life and I would rather be healthy and be a medium and a size 12. I'd like to get down into a 10 or an eight and I'd like to, you know, medium, small, medium. I have dinky shoulders and I have little, a, a narrow back, big front, narrow back, little shoulders. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes you guys. You know, my first goal weight is 165. That's my first goal weight. My second goal weight is 145. So if I can get down to 165, it'll be like woohoo, woohoo. So I broke my stall, I'm in the 170s. As everyone knows, if you guys watched my previous stall, I was forever in the 180s for like four months, four, four months hard stall. So this bacon fast has allowed me to break that stall. Then I had major oral surgery abscess some things going on in my mouth that caused inflammation but at least I'm in the 170s now I just need to get down into the 160s so we'll see how that goes my mouth's healing and my antibiotics are gone I'm taking my vitamins and I'm staying on my bacon fast so we'll see how it goes anyway folks got to finish taking my vitamins got to eat my bacon so ooh, look at that piece of fat right there look at that Oh yeah. oh yeah, that's the best part. Mmm. When it's cold, it gets creamy. The fat is like creamy smooth in your mouth, you guys. So dang delicious. Anyway, folks, you know what that means. Gotta eat now. Okay, everybody, Harry is breaking his old man, and he has got beef, and it has got Byron's butt rub, some buffalo ranch dressing, some um, ketchup, some mustard, and some mayo. I've got some of my bacon. I've got five pieces. I still have two more left for my uh, 1.5 pounds of bacon, but I think I am going to have a cup of iced coffee, a nice big container of iced oh, coffee yeah. with my collagen and my two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream for dinner to go with my Can I have that bacon. too? Of course you can. Cool. Anyway, folks, I think we're gonna wrap this up for the night. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna go eat now, folks. Mmm, that creamy stuff. Mm.